This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Soil and Margarita. My name is Roxana. I am so glad that you're here. So today's video, I have been wanting to make it for the longest time, but one thing after the other, we're here. So today I wanna share with you some of my favorite tools that I use to make being in the garden easier for me. And I know some of you already know that I use these tools almost every time I am outside in the garden, and some of you that are new to the channel probably have not seen them around. So I just wanna make one video where I can just point everybody to the tools. If I have any links for them, I will add them in the description below. So you can easily find them down there. And let me know what you think. Are you using some of this already? Do you have others that maybe you wanna recommend to me? Let me know in the comments. So the first one that you kind of already see here is this pop-up garbage bag that I call it. It's made by Fiskars. I actually have two. This is the first one that I got. It lasted me for a couple of years, but um, the handles here, because I use it all the time, they're already worn out. So I decided to get me a new one this year. Such a great investment, about 20 to $30, depending when you buy it. And who do you use to buy them? Um, I got both of them through Amazon and I had been really happy with them. I, I can keep them uh, in my garage like this. And when I need them, they are basically just like this. And I can fit a lot of stuff in here, you guys. I use them all the time. Every time I'm outside cleaning or collecting things, weeding, I am there with this bag. And I like it because it's not really heavy. I can just drag it around, put it here and there. And honestly, this is one of those things that if I am outside gardening, I just grab it because I know that I'll find something to fit in there that I need to get rid of. If you have people that help you in your garden, your kids or your friends or your husband, you can get a couple of them and just store them like this. I have been using this second one for my kids because when they help me, we're each, you know, weeding or cleaning around and they get their own bag and it's just helpful that way. Another tool that it makes my life easier while I'm outside in the garden are these knee pads. I have, this is probably my third one that I have. Uh, I know that it's the newer one because I haven't taken out the, the handle thing. I don't know. I found these guys through Amazon and I like them because they're very inexpensive um, and they are super thick. The foam is really, really rigid. Uh, they're about an inch and a half thick, I believe. And if I'm outside, if I need to be on the ground, you know, kneeling down, weeding or doing something to a plant, I just grab one of these and they, um, they help me a lot. They're super comfortable. And like I said, you can find them on Amazon, but I have, but I know that I have seen them at my local Lowe's and Menards. If you wanna look for uh, different kinds or shapes or sizes, go to your local nursery. They might have some there. I found this on Amazon and honestly, I, I love them. I have about three of them and I like them a lot. If you have a garden already, you probably already have a bunch of these guys. These bamboo sticks are honestly one of the best things that you can have in your garden. I buy them at my local Menards. Normally I get like the six foot size and I just cut them to size. I use them for plants. I use them to uh, support plants that are not really huge or massive. This will not work for my tomatoes, but they work for my tomatillos or my pepper plants or um, by just guiding some plants that need some support. I love them and I keep them. Throughout the winter, um, I just pick them up and clean them and put them inside. And uh, I have, I can probably get two to three years out of them, if not more. And honestly, they're super inexpensive. You can find them locally. I have never bought them through Amazon. I don't even know if they sell them through Amazon. I'll look for a link for you, but um, just really like them. And on that note of supporting plants, I have a bunch of these in different sizes and designs. I don't know what their name is, but I call them mini fences. They are made by metal, but I know that you can find them in wood as well, 
Although I prefer metal because I can get quite more years out of them. Uh, and I use them to keep those plants that sometimes just want to push out of the way or into your pathway. I don't know if you have a flower bed where you have a bunch of plants that just want to invade others and if you just want to keep them you know in the spot these are great for that i use a bunch of these for some victoria blue salvia that i had in a container that was just flapping everywhere because it was too tall and i use a couple of these guys to keep them straight up and they work well and i like them because like i said i can use them year after year i just give them a little bit of cleaning and honestly if you want them to match them to some container or some wall you can just spray paint them and they will look great in any color and like i say they have a bunch of sizes like this guy right here is huge it was a little bit more expensive than the little ones but i use this guy for for keeping my zucchini plants uh, out of the pathway early in the year i had a zucchini a zucchini, <laughs> zucchini. i had a zucchini plant um on my raised bed and it was kind of getting out of the way onto the pathway so i use this guy here to keep it out of the way it's still nice and and these things right here you guys it's just you know they're probably not made for keeping zucchini plants out of the way out of your raised beds but if you need to use them for that then go for it this is probably one of my favorite tools in the garden you guys i have had this tool for about three years if not more now and I use it to make a, a nice clean line around my flower beds this is a measure I got this at Home Depot and it's made by Ames or Ames I don't know how you say that um, they had it at Home Depot but I know that you can also get it through Amazon so I will put a link in the description if you want to grab one I don't use this all the time but I use it every time I need to make a nice clean edge around my flower beds probably two to three times a year I will say it and it oh go away go away oh no before I had this tool I was using the flat shovel and that well that was okay to work with it was a really more work involved so once i grab this tool i mean it's it's just day and night i love it and if you are constantly making um nice clean lines around your edge around your flower beds um, you should definitely consider getting one of this and this is not really a tool obviously but it's a uh, piece of equipment that helps me stay motivated and entertain while i garden this is just a uh, wireless speaker that I connect to my phone when I'm outside and I can just, you know, play music, play a podcast, um, listen to another YouTuber that is, I don't know, talking about something. And it helps me because if I know that I'm going to be out here for two or three hours during the day, then I just, you know, grab my favorite podcast, something that has to do probably about gardening. And um, I love it. There are tons of these wireless speakers out there. You can find them for, I don't know, from, I don't know, depending how much you want to spend on one of them, um, they can get really pricey or you can just go the cheap route and you know you get what you pay for but um this guy right here i like it because it is waterproof if you know me you know that i am always for getting things outside my gloves my coffee cups my tools i always forget them around if i'm working um, and a couple of times now i have left this outside and it has been raining or storming and they and it still works. I love this thing and it's rechargeable. I think it lasts for like a few hours, I don't know. But what I'm saying to you is that make yourself comfortable. If you already enjoy gardening outside, maybe you can do something extra, uh, maybe sipping on a margarita, I don't know. For me, it's listening to something, keeping me entertained and um, I don't know, it makes working in my garden a lot more enjoyable. Before we continue, I want to take a minute to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. If you guys didn't know, I am a photographer and lately I have been enjoying Denise Love's class about still life photography. She goes into detail explaining her setup, her gear, and her thoughts when it comes to photographing still objects. And she happens to use dry flowers, which, you know, my favorite. 
And since I am a visual learner, I love this class and I can't wait to try some of her techniques with some of my flowers from my own garden. If you never heard of it, Skillshare, it's an online learning community that offers thousands of classes of all topics for people like you and me. If you wanna check them out, Skillshare is offering a one month free trial to the first 1000 people that sign up using my link. And I will add that link to the description below. So check them out and let me know what you think Thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So the last tool that I wanna show you today is probably the more expensive one. Um, this right here is my lovely off-white or beige color hose reel made by Hoselink. Um, they sent me this one last year to try it and I absolutely love it, you guys. Uh, it makes watering for me a lot more enjoyable. I already love watering by hand anyways, but having to drag the hose around, it, it was just chaotic. Um, and I have two of them. I got another one in a darker charcoal color that is on the other side by my hydrangeas. And this one basically covers all of my vegetable and the uh, stepping stone garden. And I love them, I have two. And and honestly, they they make my life easier. Um, it's probably more of an investment, Ooh, but so worth it. I highly recommend getting one of these if you don't have one. It, you're going to love it, believe me. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. If you wanna know where to find some of these tools that I mentioned, I will put links in the description below. Uh, but a lot of these things, you can find them at your local nurseries, at your, uh, blue or orange store um, let me know if you have any questions or let me know if you have any comments maybe you have something else that you want to recommend to me for helping me in the garden i love to hear from you and i do my best answering your questions thanks again for being here and until the next video